Welcome to Better Talk. So now I'll explain how do we adjust the chain of BMW 310GS in a very easy way. So this is and why we are doing it? Because we just changed it here, and you are not happy with it. Yeah. Yeah. You you can actually see this. Yeah. I the know. chain should have 50 to 40 mm play. See, there is literally no too play. hard. And yeah. this will actually spoil your sprocket and the exactly. chain. So let's uh, dig into this. So first, these are the standard tools of. Um, with NGS. So you have to use this one, the wheel nut. And this is an extension so that it's easier to rotate. Okay. okay. And then put it down here, adjust it, and then give okay. it a you want to hold? anti clockwise. Okay. Ready? Oh. So you don't need to remove it completely. You don't need to remove it. Just loosen, Just loosen it. it a bit. Yeah. You need two rotations or more than you know. It should be good enough. It's for safety. Yeah. Half a rotation. Okay. Then you take the 12-13 spanner. First, loosen the check nut here. Okay, just loosen okay. it. Loosen it on the other side also. Okay, so it's loose on both the sides. Now you have to play around with this nut here. Okay, just loosen it a bit. You can see already. The difference in the chains play. Yeah. And the way to ensure the alignment is right, I'll show you a technique. Can you see the notches here? So you have to make sure teeth over there, the right? teeth here match with the ones on the other side. For example, here it is. Just take an estimate of middle of the nut here. So from the back you have one, two, three, four. And then you go to the other side. Again here, from the back, just take a middle point here and you see one, two, three, a little more than uh, three. So we adjust it a bit. Just loosen it a little bit here and then adjust it on the other side. Your uh, GoPro has charge battery? No. No battery? No. Why? It's not charged at all. No. This is gone. Oh man. I think this should do the trick. Okay, whatever you do, this 4% battery. Yeah, I'm almost done. But you have uh, this one, right? First, USB C and uh, power bank. Yeah, yeah, that I have. Why don't you give that quickly? Oh, okay. I have to go inside there. Okay. So much is good enough. Zero percent. One, two, three, four, and that's good. Okay, switch off. Almost. You will hear when it switches off. Okay, it should be good enough. Switching to mobile for closure. Yes, okay. gone. So now it's adjusted. Just tighten the check nut again. What about the play? It's all proper now. Yeah, looks good. Okay. This will be okay. Okay. Same thing on the other side? Yeah. Okay. We are done. So you can check the chain now. Only it didn't have any play. Now it has, we will say 40 50 mm approximately. Mm. So 40 50 mm is 
standard together yeah. together uh, it's not 40 mm on the top and 40 mm at the bottom or 50 mm on the top or 50 mm at the bottom together it should be around 40 to 50 so we should take uh, maybe 20 mm up and 20 mm down that is there that's good enough okay okay then that then you go back to your wheel nut and then tighten the wheel don't forget to do that yes that's okay <laughs> Okay, and we're done. So, so that's how you tighten the chain <laughs> the BMW G3 10 GS. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. What are you checking right now? I'm just checking the alignment. So, just keep the center here and make sure it is actually aligned with the shirt. <laughs> no, <laughs> with the shop, center of the shop observer. Okay. So, if it is going in the same straight line, then you can actually say it's aligned. This is just a manual way, it's not precise, but oh, okay. this is the crude method of finding the line. And then you can also see the chain if it is uh, loose, tight. Go ahead.